Today, I want to share with you my experience finding the right homeschool curriculum using ChatGPT, a powerful tool that has made the process much easier. As a homeschooling parent, I know how overwhelming it can be to navigate the world of curriculum options. I'm excited to share some tips and insights that have helped me. So whether you're a seasoned homeschooler or just starting out, I hope you'll find this video helpful as we explore the topic of homeschool curriculum research together. Let's dive in. Before beginning the process of finding the right homeschool curriculum for my family, I identify academic objectives and my kids' learning preferences. Because there's no point in researching curricula if I don't have an idea of what I'm looking for. Let's focus on my rising fourth grader. I start off by creating a list of subjects. I first look at what subjects I'm legally required to teach in my state as a homeschooler. I then add other subjects that I'd like my kids to cover. And I end my list of subjects by trying to add something for them to learn that they would consider delightful. Here's the first prompt that I tried. Notice that I assigned ChatGPT the role of homeschool curriculum advisor in order to get better results. So here we are in ChatGPT and I've started off with this prompt and let me break it down for you. I start off asking ChatGPT to take on the role of a homeschool curriculum advisor and expert in elementary education. I've discussed that in previous videos, how helpful it is to assign ChatGPT a role. So that's the first sentence. The next sentence is where I'm asking chat GPT for the particular information that I'm looking for. And I want you to notice that I say suggest several existing homeschool curriculum options. This is me trying to get around hallucinations. So um, you may have heard about how chatbots will hallucinate, which means that they will give you information that isn't real as if it is real. So this is me reminding you again that uh, chat GPT is experimental. I'm suggesting that you use it as a research tool but not to do all the thinking for you. But you know that saying, trust but verify? I'd say don't even trust, just verify. Verify everything. Um, so I have, when I've done these searches, I have had situations, and I'll show you one in a minute, where I suspect ChatGPT is hallucinating, giving me information. So I'm trying to get around that by asking for existing homeschool curriculum options. Of course, the information in ChatGPT may be outdated. The data it's using is up to September 2021, as of the time I'm recording this video. Uh, so it may give a curriculum suggestion that maybe doesn't exist anymore. Maybe it's been renamed. I've had that happen. And so you always need to verify. So anyway, I ask it to give me some homeschool curriculum options. And then this next part is where I tell ChatGPT how I want it to present the information to me. And I love that you can do that. Uh, so I'm saying that I want the name, the educational philosophy, there should have been a colon there, the ages, that a particular option is for and the learning style. I didn't go into details about learning style. I just say, what's the learning style? Because if ChatGPT has taken on the role of homeschool curriculum advisor, then I'm uh, hoping that it will understand what I mean by learning style. And then here's the specifics. I say to start off with fourth grade grammar, literature based, uh, and for a kid who has an interest in animals. So here's the first response I got from ChatGPT. You know me, I like to regenerate, so I did regenerate a couple of times. But let's look at this first response. Uh, I see it's in the format that I asked for. I received one, two, three, four, five suggestions for a curriculum. It gave me more information about educational philosophy than I expected, which is good. Um, and learning style also gave me extra information. So instead of just saying that sunlight is literature-based right here, it says it's literature-based incorporating books and stories related to various subjects. So that's nice. Uh, this one, Oak Metal, says that it is nature-based and hands-on activities to engage students with a love for animals and the natural world. So it gives me a little bit extra information, I feel like, which I really like. But I see a couple of problems. One of the problems is this whole love of animals thing. I'm particularly looking for curriculum that a student who loves animals may enjoy. And here in sunlight, it doesn't spell that out to me. Down here in Oak Meadow in the learning style section, it does say that it will engage students with a love for animals in the natural world. And let's see, and then here moving beyond the page, it says learning style, 
hands-on and project-based learning to cater to different learning styles and nurture a love for animals through engaging activities. And there's some mention of animals and nature here and build your library. But then in Time for Learning and Sunlight, it doesn't mention anything about animals. The other problem is that I specifically asked for grammar curriculum, and it isn't focused on grammar. As a matter of fact, down here at the bottom, it says these curriculum options should provide a strong foundation for a fourth grade student, fostering their love of animals and literature while covering the essential academic objectives. So I'm not loving that. It seems to be looking at just general fourth grade academic objectives, even though in the prompt I said that I would like homeschool curriculum options that cover the typical academic objectives for a student for the grade and academic subject I give you. And here's where I'm giving the grade and the subject. Uh, so that's less than ideal. So let's look at a regeneration. We see here a few differences. There are different curriculum options suggested. This one, the love of animals is spelled out a little more. It does include the things I asked for, but then includes a description section. And it does talk about love for animals here. Uh, I do notice that it does seem to be a little more on task about looking for grammar curriculum specifically. So that's good. Still not perfect. Here we have a new problem. This one doesn't give as much information. But the problem I'm seeing here is here, Beast Academy. It even says educational philosophy and math curriculum based on comic style books with a focus on problem solving. Well, I wasn't looking for math curriculum. I was looking for a grammar curriculum. So we have a couple of problems here. So how do we fix this? Well, it's with a new tip for formulating your prompt. Besides assigning a role for ChatGPT, the other thing you want to do is before you ask for the thing that you really want, which in this case is asking for homeschool curriculum options, you want to load up your chat with information about that topic. So here's how you do that. You ask for academic objectives, very similar to my previous ChatGPT video. And this time around, I'm using a different prompt. You can pause the video to see exactly what I have in this prompt. But basically, I'm asking for fourth grade grammar objectives that will help prepare a student for fifth grade and will help a homeschool parent. I said homeschooled. I should have been homeschool parent to find and choose a homeschool curriculum. Like always, I regenerated a couple of times. Got a few different options here. After I did that, then I asked for what I was actually looking for. I've loaded up the chat with that information and then ask for these homeschool curriculum options. And I feel like I got better responses this time with a problem. So first up, we have Grammar Galaxy. And why wouldn't ChatGPT tell me about a curriculum called Grammar Galaxy that's used for homeschool students? So that's awesome. We have here something called Growing with Grammar. Is this real? So the first thing I will do is look for it. So see, we do see something here called Growing with Grammar, which I don't think I've ever heard of, which is really helpful in my homeschool research. We have Brave Writer, uh, a little less on task. I've never used Brave Writer, so maybe incorporates a lot of grammar. I don't know. Good and Beautiful, Language Arts, Easy Grammar. And then something here called Animal Tales, Grammar and Composition, which flummoxed me. <laughs> Because when I went and searched for it, I, I found something called Animal Tales in uh, Well-Trained Mind on their website. And I don't really see that it's something for grammar. I didn't see anything called Animal Tales, Grammar, and Composition. So is this a hallucination? I don't know. But I would just move on from that. And then I regenerated again, of course. This time we see Shirley English. So this time it looks like these are all curriculum options that actually exist. Doesn't say really anything about animals. So that's a shame. And this one doesn't really either. Up here it says with a literature-based approach and a focus on the love of animals. So this is just saying any of these will work for your kid if they love animals. But my point here is that I feel like I got better results after I loaded up the chat with specific academic objectives for fourth grade. So I would definitely recommend that you first start off with getting academic objectives for the particular subject that you are researching in the particular grade and then ask for homeschool curriculum options.
Just for grins, I thought we would try changing this up to include maybe a different interest, a different type of educational philosophy, and see what results we get. So now I'm going to say now for the following fourth grade grammar, but here I'm going to say workbook. I'm going to leave love of animals. There we go. And I definitely see animal themed items here, which I question if they're real or not, <laughs> but also workbooks, which is helpful. So here's if you're looking for just a workbook just to get it done. And you know what? We're a fan of workbooks. Sometimes you just got to get it done. And here's some that you may not have thought of. Like I wouldn't have thought of scholastic success with grammar. Let's search for it. And I see it does exist. How about this one? Animal themed language arts workbook. So I don't see anything specifically called that, but maybe it's referring to something we can find on Amazon. Animal themed activity book, animal themed workbook to help kids learn to write. So that could help me know how to search for something. So we have here several options for workbooks. And if I regenerate, I see animal grammar puzzles workbook. Is that real? Let's search for it. So I do see crossword puzzles for kids. I wouldn't say this is curriculum. Grammar Safari workbook. Is this real? Is this Safari grammar? What? Never heard of that. I will have to look at that in a little bit. So see how I'm doing where I don't trust. I just verify. I look for anything that looks interesting to me. And even the ones that I feel are maybe hallucinations or not exactly hallucinations, but maybe a misunderstanding because, you know, this is software that I'm interacting with here, not a, not a human being. Maybe, a, you know, in the algorithm, a misunderstanding of what it's referring to. It still can be helpful in giving me a good search term or an idea for something to search for. Like I wouldn't have thought to look for the word safari. So that's really helpful. All right, now I'm going to ask for something else. How about I ask for a kid who loves Minecraft? Keeping other things the same, workbooks and Minecraft. So let's see. Don't trust, just verify. Let's see. Grammar for Minecrafters. Very promising. Interesting. Grammar craft workbook. Okay, so this one, it looks like it's maybe correcting the spelling, Summer Grammar Craft Contractions Worksheets. So this is a resource on Teachers Pay Teachers, which um, you know, I'm looking for complete curriculum, but that may be helpful. So see how this works. It helps you to do your research. It doesn't do all the thinking for you. You don't look at it and say, you know what? This is what it told me. This must exist. That's the one that's going to work. You, you still got to put your your mommy and your teacher hat on and, and figure it out. Let's look at one more version of this. Let's look for fourth grade grammar set of workbooks. Charlotte Mason. I'm going to replace Minecraft with animals again. So let's take a look at a couple of these. Again, don't trust. Just verify. Nature's Grammar Tales. I don't see anything called that specifically. So maybe that doesn't exist. How about animals and grammar in harmony? Again, I don't see that. Charlotte Mason, Grammar Delight. So I see here something called Charlotte Mason Grammar Reader, but it doesn't look like that specific title. I didn't see it, you know, with that quick glance. I do question several of these curriculum options it gave me. I wonder if they're hallucinations. So I'm going to regenerate. And I see here simply grammar. Okay, so that's better. Here, Grammar Galaxy again. It says it's a language arts program inspired by Charlotte Mason principles. Is that true? Don't know. Uh, wild Grammar, Charlotte Mason inspired grammar curriculum that integrates animal themed literature and nature journaling for grammar practice. So I would say this is a better version of the response. But I don't know if it's because when we're looking at Charlotte Mason materials, if it's because this is more niche that it gave me responses that I don't think were as good as, let's say, the workbook responses. You know, maybe you could play around with this. And instead of just saying Charlotte Mason, you can be more specific, say, 
fourth grade grammar curriculum that abides by Charlotte Mason principles for a kid that loves animals. So this is more instead of a list of attributes in a curriculum, this is a more natural sentence that describes what I'm looking for. So since this is a chatbot, I'm going to chat with ChatGPT and ask more about this. Is this an existing curriculum that I can purchase? Okay, so this is no. The curriculum I described was a hypothetical one tailored to your specific requirements and preferences. So that's nice, but that's not what this video is about. We'll discuss creating a curriculum in another video that we can tailor to our specific requirements. Can you recommend an existing Charlotte Mason grammar curriculum? So now we're getting some more interesting information. Primary language lessons. We see Grammar Galaxy again, living language lessons, first language lessons. This is interesting because first language lessons I understood is uh, classical. Yeah, it does say here. While designed for classical education, this curriculum aligns well with Charlotte Mason principles, providing solid grammar instruction through short focus lessons. And I can ask more about that. I can ask, how does that one align with Charlotte Mason principles? So it, it goes through, and I love it when ChatGPT apologizes to me. Cracks me up, you know, the art of the apology. So it's saying here that, hey, it's not specifically Charlotte Mason, but Charlotte Mason in classical education do share similarities. Some homeschool families have found that certain aspects of first language lessons for the world train mind resonate with Charlotte Mason's ideas. So see here the benefit of using an AI chatbot to do your homeschool curriculum research to aid you in that. Back up here, you can tailor your prompts to get results in the format that you want, to get specific information with a few tips, like assigning ChatGPT a role and loading up ChatGPT with information on the topic that you want to converse with it about. You can get some pretty good results, and then you can have a conversation about its responses. Like, is this really real? How does it align? Super, super helpful. I mean, I've already just in this session found a, a couple of options that I want to investigate further because grammar is one of those subjects that my kids hate. So grammar is something we don't want to spend a, a ton of time on. We just want to get it done and try to make it as delightful as possible. By using ChatGPT as a research tool, you can save time and discover new resources that you may not have found otherwise. So why not give it a try and see what curricular ChatGPT recommends for your family? After using ChatGPT to research curricula, I wanted to share some tips to help you get the most out of your experience. First things first, when interacting with ChatGPT, it's super important to be as specific as possible with your prompts. Think about things like your kids' academic objectives, their ages, learning preferences, interests, and any other criteria you might have. The more information you provide up front, the easier it will be for ChatGPT to provide you with relevant recommendations. Secondly, remember that using ChatGPT is more like having a conversation with an assistant than it is a simple search query. So don't be afraid to give feedback to ChatGPT to help it improve its recommendations. For example, if you notice that most of the recommendations are literature-based, but you prefer hands-on options, let ChatGPT know. Or if you want more information included in the recommendations, like pros and cons, just ask ChatGPT to update the recommendations with that information. Lastly, when it comes to formatting the information, tell ChatGPT exactly how you want it presented to you. Do you prefer it in a table format? Just ask for a uh, plain text table with specific columns. Do you have a specific formatting style in mind? Just give ChatGPT a sample answer and tell it to format the recommendations like that. Using a powerful AI tool to help me find the right homeschool curriculum is amazing. But sometimes it makes more sense to create my own curriculum and using ChatGPT makes it way easier. Watch my next ChatGPT video to see how I do that.